Alabama, 49, Arkansas, 26. Yikes. Uh, this one was the tale of, of three different scenes, basically. It was, uh, it was a train wreck. And yet, at the same time, it was, uh, look, Alabama jumps out to 28 nothing the lead, and then it's 28-23 to going into the fourth quarter, and then Alabama wins the fourth quarter 21-3. to Hits your 49-26 to score. If you were to bet that game to start and take Alabama minus 17, which is what it closed uh, right before kickoff, then you come back and you bet Arkansas – uh, plus 24 and a half, right when Bryce Young went out of the game. You got a nice middle here. It worked out well. So, I might be saying that from experience, just saying. Um, this, let's look at the stats on this one. At Alabama won yardage 555 to 377. They won yards per play 8.7 to 40, uh, to, excuse me, to 4.4. Uh, they won third downs 64 to 29%. They won rushing 317 to 187 and drive points, 35-14. to 14. Uh, The quarterback, of course, Bryce Young, left in the second quarter with a shoulder injury. They're saying that it's a sprain. It might be like an MCL sprain. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Uh, I would be surprised if he plays this weekend. If they think that they can get by Texas A&M without him, then absolutely. Like, they will do their best to just put Jalen Milrow out there and not have to worry with it until they have to go to Tennessee because that's when they're really going to need the offense to roll. Uh, Holy Sal jumped in and said Bama's rushing game is the best in the country right now. Uh, that would be incorrect. In the fourth quarter of this game, Alabama at one point had six rushes for 225 yards. They were ridiculous because they had three 70-plus yarders in a row. Uh, Jameer Gibbs was out of his mind just running the football in that fourth quarter. They finally got some holes open. And I think a part of it, if I'm not mistaken, I think Alabama changed centers in the game. And once they went over to uh, uh, Dallincourt, I think is the guy's name, um, once he came in in the fourth quarter, or close to the fourth quarter, they completely opened up the holes that allowed Jameer Gibbs to get out into space. And Arkansas, I, I really couldn't understand exactly what it was that they were doing. Like, it made no sense when you looked at it. But, uh, but yeah, Alabama found a way to get through this one. I mean, they looked absolutely shell-shocked in that third quarter. Uh, they were up 28 to nothing. They gave up a touchdown before the end of the half. Arkansas came out, didn't do anything on their first drive, but then held Alabama to nothing on that second drive, or on, that, uh, on their first drive. And then Arkansas scored a touchdown, kicked an onside kick, and got it. Scored again. I mean, just continued on and on until it was 28 to 23. They missed a two point conversion. KJ Jefferson is an exciting player, but. There are there are issues in his game, right? Uh, this game was super exciting at one point, but Alabama found ways to basically, and I think Gary Danielson talked about this on the game. When you rush him on the inside, you make sure that he does like don't run past him. You can't run around him, otherwise he's going to take advantage of that. And basically, if you just close in on those tackles, when he tries to run he's going to run directly to one of those edge rushers or to a linebacker. They did it all day. And so it was it was impressive on Alabama's part, especially on defense. Um, looking at K.J. Jefferson's numbers, uh, 14 carries, 62 yards. He did have some good scrambles in there. Uh, and some of the passes by Arkansas, where K.J. Jefferson was able to just keep the play alive and get the ball out, and the catches that were made by some of his uh, his receivers, Keytron Jackson, um, uh, Rocket Sanders, of course, the running back. Trey Knox, uh, he had that one catch for like 36 yards. Uh, Rashad Dubinin, uh, Nathan Bax. I mean, just uh, Matt Landers and, and Jaden Hazelwood had uh, had six catches, but only 37 yards. It, they they made it a really fun game for a little while, and then that defense just bleh, just bleh. So uh, so yeah, Alabama. I mean, expected points here. Um, yeah, they did they did pretty well. Uh, by the way, if you're looking again, if you didn't notice earlier, green is good, purple is bad over at Game on Paper. So that is what you're looking at for that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. 
and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.